Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another Rebuilds video. Uh, it's been a minute since we made one of these. We don't want to scare anybody. Now, getting straight into today's video. Uh, if this is your first time watching a Rebuilds video, firstly, uh, welcome, huge welcome. I appreciate you taking the time to watch uh, the videos. Um, Rebuilds is a series I started back at the start of the channel where I take an image and I build it up in Minecraft. I attempt to rebuild it. That's the whole point. I'm attempting to rebuild um, a image in Minecraft. And for this one, we're here in this lovely birch forest, which you may notice looks a bit different. And that's because I'm using Jamesy Boys, Better Leaves add-ons pack for Minecraft. And it looks really cool. And it gives us this really cool autumn vibe, uh, which we need for today's video. This video's inspiration comes from an incredible artist named Miriam, who you can find on Instagram under Board and Crafty. I'll have them linked below. This painting gave me mad nostalgia vibes, and so I was really keen to try and capture some of like the 12 year old me's imagination when it came to building tree huts. Um, so I got stuck into it with just the classic birch, the classic ugly birch. I'm not like against it, but it's, it's funny. People rip on that texture so much. Uh, and then I brought in a lot of the, t the new nether blocks, uh, which I was excited to do. I haven't used them a whole lot. I'm not the biggest fan. I found them a little bit ugly, but uh, you know, I'm excited to try and figure them out as I go. Uh, I brought the tree up a bit more. I just kind of gradually built it up as I went because, you know, I didn't know exactly where it was going to go. With some of these builds, you kind of just have to guess, you know, you can't just get it right the first time. So um, anyway, laid it up piece by piece, building each level as I went. And with a lot of these builds that I do, the, it's a painting, you know, it's a picture, it doesn't always make sense functionally and so one of the challenges later on was trying to connect the, the houses together and get sort of access ways and paths and all that kind of stuff in. But um, anyway, I started layering up the leaves and this killed me. <laughs> I didn't use any world edit, it was just leaf by leaf by leaf and it took so long. Uh, what I wished I did have was different colours, like an orange and a red. I kind of went in with a bit of um, oak leaves and spruce, trying to get sort of, you know, some of those last little live bits of evergreen still in there, but um, for the most part, it's just birch. One part that it doesn't quite show very clearly here is the um, poles coming out with the banners hanging on. I really loved how these turned out. They add such a nice pop of color to the whole build. Um, but what you're going to see soon is that I was quite overwhelmed by all the orange in this birch forest. So I ended up cutting out the whole build and moving it into this forest biome here. Um, just to try and get a little bit more color contrast because the yellow was just so, so overwhelming to my eyes after staring at it for hours and hours. And I was like, maybe I made the right decision. Maybe I didn't. Let me know. But um, I just couldn't stare at yellow anymore. So I had to move it along. Anyway, coming in with a bit of terraforming here. Uh, you know, just the classic stuff. I really enjoy this kind of stuff, like shaping out hills and cliff faces. Um, so I did this side, I did the other side, which I didn't show in the time lapse, but um, it sort of just added a whole lot more volume to this little ridge here um, and allowed me to create space for a wheat farm that we'll be building up soon. Terraforming this was quite essential to the process because it is like a big organic tree, which is something I've actually never built before anyway. Um, Having this kind of, this hill and this cliff face be all rugged and natural-ish looking, um, I thought was crucial to pulling it off, pulling it off well, I guess. Um, anyway, brought through the paths, mixing uh, together the basalt and the cobblestone. Again, cobble, uh, that's a new combination that I haven't really used before. Um, and then bringing in the granite and the brick to make this sort of walled off farm. And that pretty much brings us to the end of all of the building. Bada bing, bada boom. 
there it is guys uh what do you think let me know in the comments what you think of this one i was pretty worried about it when i started putting the leaves in i was like oh no it's too fluffy it's the wrong color it's too much and i freaked out a bit but um yeah i moved it as well i said that in the time lapse already but um i moved it to this forest biome because there was just too much yellow for me it was too much um, and i think there's there's a lot more contrast with the green and the blue and everything but hey let's hop down and take a look so I really love this little bait area and I thought it would be a really cool way to get into the treehouse is to be able to come in um, and it's kind of like, I don't know, like a, I, as I built this thing, I'll probably say this a bit more, kind of like an adventurer's house, an adventurer's treehouse. But anyway, yeah, it comes through here. We use the, the basalt and the cobblestone. That's something I haven't really done yet. Um, I'm using the nether blocks in this one as well and I haven't really used them because I kind of think they're a bit ugly. but. I think this works. I'm, I'm pretty into the path. Um, and then just like bush, bushes everywhere. Bush spam, lanterns, all the all the stuff, all the coarse dirt. Um, anyway, it comes up here and we get sort of a nice view from underneath. And then it comes up here. The path splits off. One goes left, one goes right. Um, and now this one here, I, I really like the view. It sort of just looks out over this bay here and the forest. Really nice stuff. Um, in the painting, you would see there's like a lot of like dead grass and yellowy orangey stuff in the painting. Obviously, there's none of that in Minecraft, even though I hacked it with the leaves. But I'm planting leaf, uh, <laughs> leaves, wheat. Planting wheat um, kind of gives the effect of dead grass. So there you go, little tutorial. Um, anyway, and then I added in this little farm, um, wheat, wheat field, just for a bit of color, bit of texture. Now the path that comes around the other side um, actually comes to this, which is the main, uh, what do you call this? Ladder? It's not really a ladder. Pathway up to the tree, tree house. So it comes up here. It's kind of like rickety and, and dinky, but hey, that's, that's what we're about here. Um, and it comes up. Um, and before we go into the house, I want to show you something really cool. Diorite slabs for building trees. With birch even. It's like the, the most ugly combo ever. Who would have thought that I would have, I don't think in my life I ever would have imagined building a diorite and birch epic mega tree. But um, here it is, epic view, main door. Let's get some hands going. Um, and it comes in and the first level is kind of like a kitcheny, maybe like herbs, you know, all the, you know, mushrooms and kind of all the fungi, all the bits you get from down foraging. Uh, and there's a couch here. Do you hear that sound? Oh, so, so weird. Um, yeah, anyway, there it is. Using all of the nether blocks as well. Not all of them, just a lot of them. Um, and yeah, what do you think? Actually, that's another thing. Check down in the comments what you think of the nether blocks because I am unsure. I know some people have done like texture packs to change the colors. I think this, these match the painting the best. But um, anyway. Uh, the entrance to the next level is up through the inside of this tree. Um, is the tree dead inside? Maybe. It's hard to tell because this is just the game. But on the next level is uh, like all this kind of like brewing stuff, you know, nether warts, sprouts, glass bottles, candle, um, all that kind of good stuff. And then we open these doors to yet another fantastic view. Uh, careful you don't fall off. And then we just follow the uh, little pathway around here underneath the banners. Um, there's a deck that goes around the back here, which looks out to another epic view. Um, I did a little bit of work terraforming down there as well. So I didn't cheap out and just do one side of it. Um, and it comes up the top here to the final third level, which has got a whole lot of kind of tools. It's kind of like a work area. Um, and then a little bit of a banister and a view. Um, again, so nice out here. Um, and it just closes off uh, with this bedroom here. So we have like bed, a desk, uh, where you can sort of write about all your adventures. Full netherite armor, of course. Got to be fully stacked if you're an adventurer. Uh, and that is the interiors of the interiors of this treehouse. Last thing I want to hit is these kind of banners. I uh, like bunting, I think. Um, and this is something I've never done before. And I think you'd normally would use wool or something. But I use these terracotta blocks um, with uh, banners, yeah, hanging off them, and um, these kind of symbolize, symbolize, they, they're my attempt at creating those kind of um, orby-like jewel things that are hanging down, 
and yeah, this is something I've never done before, and I was so stoked. I, I thought it added so much interest. Um, and I get, you know, like, the huge blocks, but whatever, man. Like, color, come on. It's epic. Coming around the back now. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Uh, if you liked the build, uh, let me know. If you didn't, also let me know. Uh, just don't be too mean. All feedback's nice unless it's like really hurtful. We don't like that stuff here. Um, but hey, if you are into doing likes to let me know that you liked it, do that too. Otherwise, um, check out my survival videos. We've been having a lot of fun over there. And the next video that I'm putting out is going to be big. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.